This video is brought to you by Flimba. So hey guys, I hope you guys are all doing well. So it's currently the 10th of October and I know it's been a while, but during that time I've been super busy working on a desk setup transformation video and I think this one is the best one yet. But then again, this video would not have been possible without the sponsor of today's video, Flimba. So be sure to check them out and I'll leave all the details in the description below. So now before we get into this video, be sure to hit that subscribe button and let's go. Welcome to my desk setup transformation episode two. Now right here we have some before shots of the space I'm looking to transform. I wanted to paint this wall in a nice dark colour that comes in a matte finish. So I went to my nearest DIY store to pick up some items. I started off by getting an all purpose filler to repair any wall imperfections. While I was there I also bought some paint brushes, sandpaper, a new roller and some additional accessories. I browsed through some colour samples to see which one would be best suited and believe me there was a huge range to choose from. I was looking for a dark colour with a nice matte finish but it would also have to match my workspace aesthetic and I ended up going for the inkwell finish by Dulux. Later that day I got to work and began by adding filler to the walls to cover up any imperfections. While I was waiting for it to dry, I taped up the plugs and edges of the wall using masking tape so that I wouldn't get any paint on the side of the walls and it would look more cleaner. I got a primer and undercoat and the inkwell finish by Dulux. Once the filler had dried, I sanded it all down to achieve a nice and even surface. Once everything was ready, it was time to prime the walls. Once the primer on the wall was dry, it was time to start painting. I must say, I've never really been a fan of painting, but I really enjoyed it for the most part. At first, the colour looked a little different than I expected, but once it had fully dried up, it looked so much better and was just as I had expected. Painting actually took me quite some time, but I finally completed it and I was happy with it. The next day, I took a trip to Ikea to pick up some additional items for the setup. This must be heaven. I gotta testify. Come up in the spot looking extra fly. For the day I die. I was actually looking for a nice small storage unit to add to the setup where I could store some of my additional items without it being too big. I was searching for something that would complement my workspace while matching the walnut finish of my tabletop. I ended up choosing the Calyx storage unit which was the perfect size and I opted for the one that comes with the doors. While I was there I picked up a pegboard and some additional accessories to decorate it. I'm glad I found everything that I was after. I then placed everything in the boot and went back to the studio to finish setting everything up. I ended up getting a Skaders pegboard with dimensions of 56cm by 56cm. I also picked up some additional accessories from my trip to Ikea to decorate the pegboard. The installation process was fairly straightforward. I used the stud finder before drilling to ensure I was drilling in the right spot. I then marked my points on the bracket as a reference before drilling. I added some wall plugs to each of the holes and then securely screwed in the wall bracket. I then attached the pegboard and ensured it was nice and secure before proceeding to decorate it. I started off by placing the shelf followed by the three mini Fetchka plants. I also added three small containers to store some smaller items too. I spaced out these two hooks so that I could place my mechanical keyboard. I then used a plastic hook to hang up my headphones. To finish it off, I magnetically attached the light bar to the bottom of the shelf to give it a bit of light. Once again, I just want to say a huge thank you to the sponsor of today's video, Flimba, who have kindly sent me their standing desk and making this whole video possible. Upon unboxing, as you can see, everything is very well packaged using bubble wrap and cardboard to ensure everything is well protected. I recommend taking out all the items and laying them down on the floor to make things easier during the build. I found that the tabletop was a little heavy for some reason, but upon unboxing it, I have to say, huge props to Flimber for taking the time to package it very well to ensure its safety. And wow, this walnut finish looks even better in person and it feels great. I flipped the tabletop the other way around so I can get started with the build. Building this desk is fairly straightforward 
with the instructions very well laid out in the provided user manual. I recommend taking out all the screws so that you know what you're working with. I then placed the top part of the desk frame and lined it up accordingly with the pre-drilled holes of the tabletop. Make sure you screw the supporting beam nice and tightly to the tabletop and ensure it's not too loose. I then aligned the legs accordingly and screwed them in place tightly using the hex wrench. When doing this part make sure you screw everything nice and tight. I also did the same thing on the other side. Then line up the side brackets with the supporting beam. I then screwed the side brackets in place to further enhance the stability of the standing desk. I plugged in all the relevant wires to the control unit and had them neatly rolled up inside the beam support so I don't have any wires dangling out. I then placed the cable management tray and screwed it in place to conceal any wires. The final step was to attach the legs and screw them in tightly using the hex wrench. The hand switch system was then securely screwed in place using the pre-drilled holes which made life so much easier. Once the build was complete it was time to flip the desk over and set it in place. I must say I really love how well the walnut finish matches the background on the walls. Now it's time for my favourite part of the setup and that's the wall lighting. Yes, I chose the Nano Leaf Line starter pack which includes 9 light lines which is the perfect amount for the size of my walls. Now let's go ahead and set these up. Pairing these up was a breeze using the Nanoleaf app and the customizations that could be made were amazing with a huge range of options available to choose from. For my monitor setup I opted for a dual monitor configuration using two sleek Kuri 24 inch displays mounted on the Huanyua dual monitor stand with base mounts. The stand not only holds the monitor securely but also elegantly conceals all the cables. To enhance the mood, I added some budget friendly GoV strip lights along the back of the desk. The 3M tape ensured a secure fit and I trimmed them to the desired length for a customised touch. For extra storage, I added some Alex drawer units to both sides of the desk. To further add to the setup, I added a walnut monitor stand by GrooveMade which perfectly matches the tabletop. I placed the microphone stand on the left hand side coupled with the short MV7 mic connected via XLR cable to my Focusrite audio interface to ensure I get that crisp audio quality. To brighten the workspace, I placed a light grey felt desk mat by Wolvend. To maintain a cohesive look, I added a walnut keyboard tray and trackpad tray which are both from GrooveMade to match that wooden theme. To elevate the audio experience, I included a Bluetooth soundbar. Lastly, I powered the entire setup with a Mac Mini which seamlessly blends with the desk's overall design without it being overly big. For efficient cable management, I used cable organizers, clips, velcro ties and adhesive tape to neatly bundle all the cables. I opted for an extension lead so that all the plugs are in one single location. I securely placed it on the desk's underside using 3M double sided adhesive tape. My aim was to establish a nice and clean workspace while ensuring seamless access to all devices and cables to help keep that nice clean aesthetic. A tidy workspace looks so much better. Although cable chaos can create a disorganised and distracting atmosphere, I wanted to make sure all the cables were well rolled up and everything was held together and not dangling down. Although it was quite a tedious process, but I feel like it's one of those things when you get it right once, you won't have to do it again. Additionally, Flimber kindly provided me with some cable management clips to help further manage the cables and they were super handy when holding the cables together. I also stuck the control unit of the Nano Leaf lights to the wall to complete that clean and uncluttered look. Upon completion, I was delighted with the final result. The setup appeared remarkably sleek with no wires dangling in sight. And the last piece of the jigsaw puzzle was my Doro C300 ergonomic chair by Sihu to finish off the setup. I must say, I'm really happy with my setup. I think it looks absolutely amazing, especially with the walnut tabletop and the matte inkwell finish by Dulux. Honestly, it just looks perfect. But let's go ahead and check out the desk.
I must say, I'm really happy with my setup. I think it looks absolutely amazing, especially with the walnut tabletop and the matte inkwell finish by Dulux on the walls. Honestly, in my opinion, it just looks perfect. But let's go ahead and check out the desk. First and foremost, Flimber is a UK-based eco-friendly company that sources premium high-quality products, such as this standing desk right here. I really like this walnut finish. It comes in just the perfect amount of colour while still maintaining that classy look. This standing desk by Flimber is a game changer when it comes to creating an ergonomic and efficient workspace. With its sleek design, robust construction and advanced features, it's the perfect choice for those seeking the ultimate desk setup. The desk has dual motors and goes up and down very smoothly, supporting up to 130 kilograms. Don't worry, it is equipped with a low noise motor so you won't be disturbing anyone around you. If you would like to work standing up, rest assured that this desk has a maximum height of up to 128 centimeters. Now this is fairly high, but the legs offered really good stability. You can also drop it to as low as 63.7 centimeters. The control unit is very responsive as you can see. You can also save up to four memory height presets. And to lock the control unit, you simply hold the M button until lock is displayed on the screen and you can also charge your phone via USB. The desk's spacious 140 by 80 cm surface provides ample room for me to work in. Its sturdy build ensures a stability even at its maximum height, giving me that extra peace of mind while working or switching between sitting and standing positions. From my experience so far, this desk is just perfect. You also have 30 days to return it free of charge, and on top of that you get a 10 year warranty. If you'd like to check them out, I will leave all their information in the description below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did when putting it together. I would really appreciate it if you guys can hit that subscribe button to support the channel. And I hopefully catch you guys on the next one. Take care.